ones who made high school harder than we thought it was going to be. And we're not the ones who trusted complete strangers. I believe in people, Farkle, and you know that. Maybe this will teach you not to. You tell them that it doesn't matter if you think standing in a hole is stupid. What matters is us, Farkle. We don't leave. And I'm going to go back in that stupid hole tomorrow. And I don't know what I'm going to learn. Because I believe that I'm going to come out knowing more than I do now. And I hope I'm making the right choice, Farkle. I hope my friends will be there right with me. You tell them that. I'd like to say that we've never gotten hurt when we're together. And it was my fault that we weren't. I'm truly sorry about that. And I hope it never happens again. You guys showed us what it means to be strong. And smart. You still like him? I still like him. I like us all. I want us to last forever. Well, how do we do that? By finding out that friends who know who you are is the most real thing there is. So, Riley, what are you going to put on your profile? Yeah. Who are you? Fargo, I don't think our permanent record begins in high school. It has to matter what grades we got in middle school. It has to matter that who we were affects who we are. You chose Smackle because you want to raise your level. That's who you are. What are you going to do about Spanish class? I'm going to have to raise my level, too. I was always a pretty good student. You were always the smartest student in the class. That's not good enough. I need to say that. Why? Because you've always been Riley. That's your permanent record. You haven't stood on a teacher's desk or been in detention for a long time. You sold your house in Mayaville and you moved to Riley Town. I must like it. Go home. What's wrong with us both liking a nice guy? Do we? What's wrong with who I am now? I, uh, the world has one of me. The world needs one of you. My voice is still my voice, Riley. You're gonna need to show me a lot more than clothes and hair and a boy before I believe that it isn't. You want me to go home? I'll go home. Katie, you are a very good actress. But you can't hide this anymore. I love somebody. Do you? And somebody loves me. <laughs> I see hope. I see a unique voice who's learned to appreciate the influence of hope. Try not to lose that. I won't. I love your daughter. And I'm in love with you. <laughs> I want us to take care of each other forever. <laughs> Do you want to get married? I could have been them. R Riley, I would have been them. But I'm not. Because they think a hammer and a brick makes you strong. And as much as I wanted to throw a brick through a window, I know that if I did that, that's what would make me weak. I'm strong because there's something inside me that stops me now. It knows how important you've been in my life. and. It'll never let me do any real damage as long as I live. I'll play the long game. Live your life, I'll live my life. I know you're out there, and I'm, I'm out there too. That's your deal? 
That's my deal. Someday? Someday. We put these jelly beans on a scale when I was trying to think about all the things that I like about you. When I was trying to decide what I needed to do. That means you, Riley. I choose you. And I really <laughs> want you to choose me. I do. I always did. I've been looking for you. Why? Um, before we do this, yeah. no matter what the future brings, I, I want you to know how much I want to be a good wife. That's all I've been thinking about. Do you think I could be a good wife? Yeah, I'd bet my life on it. Then I pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> This is a world of poverty, hunger, and climate change. And we know it. And we tolerate it. And we have not changed it. So if the world creates opportunities for us to do something good or something evil every day, and that world is full of poverty, hunger, and war, then doesn't the state of the world answer the question? Doesn't it prove that the world is evil? That we are evil? Remember when Augie wanted to give up Mr. Googly and grow up? But then I didn't. I wasn't ready. Yeah. Good for you. But at some point, I think we are ready. How do we know when that is, Maya? I think something inside us tells us. I think it actually comes to tell us. Riles, I don't want to let you down, but I think your bear is gone. So I want you to know that I'd be happy to sit next to you, next to Riley and Lucas, at the movies, so we could all be together. 